Sky Squad, we are back in the building. Of course, we have got to talk about the latest breaking news. All right, so if you are here for pop culture, reality TV related news, this is the right place for you, baby. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell button. But also, listen, smack that like button. Leave us a comment. Let us know your thoughts and opinions about what we're going to be talking about today. Just to give you guys a bit of a disclaimer, I'm going to give you a little bit of a trigger warning warning for this video. Now, it's not going to be necessarily what we play in the video, but it is going to be what we have to talk about in the video, okay? Um, and we will have links in the description so that you can check out some of the footage for yourself and make your own conclusions, okay? Before we get into all of that, let's just talk about a couple of quick things. Did y'all happen to catch Dancing with the Stars last night? <laughs> well, your girl Phaedra Parks was on there, okay, dancing up a storm to Whitney Houston's I'm Every Woman, okay, in her Dancing with the Stars debut. Now, Phaedra looked good. I ain't gonna even lie to you. She looked good on the dance floor. Now, in comparison, it oftentimes feels like to me the the women who compete on this show have it a bit harder because the movements of the professional dancers when you watch the women they are like I mean it's the spins it's the it's the everything is so meticulous it almost feels like they have a little bit more work to do to to show off that flash and flair so by comparison to me Phaedra you know, kind of just starting out, she was all right. She did a good job. You know what I'm saying? I think for the guys who are competing, the women oftentimes make them look even better because they out there shaking, shimmying, and working it. You know what I'm saying? So I have to still give it up for Phaedra to have learned these dances in a week. I mean, I don't know that I could do it, okay? Um, but, you know, maybe I could. We'll have to see. But if you saw it, let us know in the chatterization down below. I have got to show you guys something I am super excited about, and that is the fact that Bell Collective has gotten a new cast photo. Let me tell you something. Praise the Lord for several things, okay? We're going to praise them like we should because they got a new cast photo, okay? And it's giving cast photo. You know what I'm saying? This is giving what it should be giving, okay? It is giving the sophistication of a show that has been and made it through to its, what, fourth season? Now, granted, they have the A's and B's, so this could be season Z. I really don't know. What I do know that Bell Collective is back for the new season on November the 11th. Let me tell y'all something. It is going to be a busy, booked and busy fall, okay? Okay. Not only think about it like this, we got Salt Lake City, which we're definitely talking about. I got a recap, love it, uh, love and hip hop. Okay, that is already lit. Okay, trust and believe. We got to talk about that, but I'm going to do that in a later video. We're, we're going to have Potomac back as well. Then Love and Marriage Huntsville will be back in November. Then I am hearing through the grapevine that. Beverly Hills will be back in November, thereabouts. And I would imagine Married to Medicine is not too far off either. So y'all, I don't even know how I'm about to manage this schedule, but I will tell you my travel schedule after I get back from Bali is a little bit lighter, baby. So we're going to be able to get into all of these shows and they're going to keep your boy busy. And I love it, okay? Because it was a dry, like, spring summer september so anyway let's get into this cast photo i got another one of my wishes y'all i feel like i don't know about y'all but i think we manifested this those of you who know y'all know we manifested selena is in this cast photo selena who had a story to tell last season will finally be able to get her due by becoming a full-time Bell this season. No disrespect to anybody else on the cast, because y'all know how I feel about this cast in general. I'm in love with this cast, right? 
But I did feel like Selena was the shot of adrenaline that this show definitely needed. And again, don't get me wrong. Every, every, the pieces were already in place, okay? But I feel like with the addition of Selena, you get a more complete picture of these women. Now, if we can bring on Dr. Antoinette to come back into the mix of it all, boom, baby, boom. So I'm super excited about this. Let me know if you guys will be watching Bell Collective when it returns this fall, November 1st, on OWN. Every Friday, y'all, on OWN. OWN, y'all know I'm going to need them screeners, okay? <laughs> Go ahead and, and hand them to me because if the Braxons are still on, we're going to have a whole lot on the plizate okay now let's also get into the tea with nini leaks okay what does nini leaks have against giselle that is the question i mean we know that she considered robin dixon starless remember that the starless robin dixon you know uh, justice for rock well okay Anyway, um, so in this clip that is making the rounds on the interwebs, it's really a clip where Nini seems to be jokingly suggesting that Karen Molly Wap Giselle. Okay, so let's get into it. This was clearly after. Nini's epic debut back with NBC Universal, re uh, recapping the Emmys. So she's in LA, and so the Grand Dame must have been in LA too, because they this is this took place in West Hollywood, from my understanding. Okay, shout out to Mr. Housewives. Make sure you guys check out Mr. Housewives the podcast, all that great stuff that they got going on over there. Be sure to like, support, comment, and share, and all that good stuff. Right. So I've seen this video on a couple of different sites, all right? We saw it on, it's also located on Bravo Housewives. So we're going to play a clip from you for it. And, and I may have to give you guys a little bit of, um, you know, audio breakdown, but it should be clear from the video and you can hear it for yourself. So let's take a listen. Hi, beautiful. So Nini is telling her, you look amazing. Don't play with me. So she tells her then, BMF and Giselle up. Don't beat me up. Beat Giselle up. Call me out. <laughs> and Karen is saying, Nini, just call me out. Nini, just call me out. <laughs> Again, she repeats it. Beat up Giselle. <laughs> she repeats it again. Beat up Giselle. <laughs> <laughs> He said, don't beat me up. Beat up Giselle. I I I I you heard it here first. Karen says, I can't help her. I adore her, though. Karen says, I adore her, though. <laughs> and Nene says, but I don't. Okay. And Karen says, oh, it turns around. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> I'm stunned to speak. <laughs> I love a good meme. So, okay. So, if you look at Mr. Housewives' breakdown of the possible reason for that is the question is, what's Nene's beef with Giselle, right? You know, it... In terms of saying anything bad about Nene, I haven't necessarily heard Giselle say anything bad. I mean, other than calling Robin starless. So maybe unless she considers Robin and, G and Giselle one and the same, which, you know, they did always kind of seem like the freaking frack of Potomac, whether you like them or not, right? Um, you know, Mr. Housewives, they are surmising that it could be because Giselle is very close to Portia. And... 
you know, Nene and Portia had a little bit of an issue earlier this year, right? But that seems like it don't really make much sense because I feel like Nene is cool with other people who are cool with Portia. So I don't really know what the beef really is about. All I know is that Nene is not feeling Giselle, okay? If you have an idea of what this is about in the comment section, definitely let your boy know because I'm clueless. But, you know, if Nene's coming back and she's already beefing with the people, I mean, you might as well bring her back to Housewives, baby, okay? And so we can get this thing really moving. Although, I must let it be said, I am excited about the new season of Housewives, even though I know, you know, it's going to be filled with newbies. I'm hearing some not so great things about the season, but I'm still hopeful as I always am with Atlanta because it's really the show that I clung to the most when I started watching Housewives, right? Um, Outside of New York and Beverly Hills and, and DC. Anyway, but it, in Jersey, oh God, back in the day, ooh. Ooh, ooh, like a dungeon dragon. Um, okay, so that's that. Now, things are about to take a more serious turn. And for those of you guys who are sensitive, I want to let you know that now we're going to have to talk about something unpleasant, okay? And unpleasantness typically is not what I really go what I go for on this channel. Sometimes because we are talking about a particular show and the news pops off, we've got to really speak about what we're seeing, right? Now, I am aware that Kevin Sr. has done an interview with Sherelle's World. I will link the interview in the description of this video so that you guys can go and watch it if you haven't already done so. Now, I typically don't like to watch a lot of other um, housewives or reality TV related content on YouTube specifically because I don't want to feel pressured to talk about the same things, right? But I know that he hasn't been given the opportunity to speak on the Braxtons. And I feel as though when you don't allow someone to speak, you don't allow the complete story to be told, right? And at the end of the day, that was Tracy's husband. And I am about telling a complete story. And if it would have provided a space for healing, which typically a lot of times reality TV doesn't, but you can always hope, then it probably would have been better because the victim to me in all of this, despite the fact that I know that this man has lost a husband and the sisters have lost a beloved sister, there is also, you know, Kevin, you know, he has a child, Kevin, Kevin Jr. And, you know, that's got to just be a lot, okay, um, to be, to have lost your mom and then to also be feuding with your dad, okay? And also potentially trying to, you know, maintain space of acceptance within the the Braxton family and I've just been lately having flashbacks of I went back to my interview with Tracy you know I went back to several things when we watched Braxton family values on in in ways that Tracy was kind of isolated by the family in some senses and then also now putting those things into context for when, you know, she did get sick and how they said that she wanted this show. And, you know, I'm just, I'm also doing my own research, right? I'm doing my own research. I'm having conversations behind the scenes to try to figure out what is really, what are we seeing on TV? Is it the most accurate depiction of the way things have actually worked out and played out? And, you know, what is the story that's not being told? And this video right here that I can I, I'm not gonna play it because what what you what you're gonna see here when you look at it, I'm gonna link it in the description down below, is basically shout out to the Jasmine brand. It is video obtained, and they've got this exclusive footage 
of an alarming incident allegedly including the late Tracy Braxton's husband, Kevin Sr., and their son, Kevin Jr. Now, the sources, and I will tell you that I'd also confirm that this is real, okay, that the clip allegedly shows Kevin Sr. seemingly hitting Kevin Jr., okay? If you've watched this season of the show, there's been serious tension between the father and Tracy's family, as well as Kevin Jr. And so when you listen to this clip, you can hear what a, what sounds like Kevin Jr. pleading with his father about something. What that is, I don't know. And I don't know if there was a nook if you buck type situation that caused the what you hear is an audible physical what either sounds like a slap or a punch being thrown i am also told that there is longer footage of this as well um from what i'm hearing that is actually much worse than what you will actually see here um i don't really know the full depth and breadth of what is happening with this family outside of a what the family tells us on the show b what kevin senior has been also st stating and i feel like everybody has a perspective and when you lose a family member in this way wherein there is likely regret on both sides this is oftentimes what happens when a family loses someone grief it really plays a number on everyone's emotions and it is very unfortunate to find this family in this state at the point where they are and to be honest with you you know, right now, I feel like instead of being able to properly grieve, the unfortunate controversy, the unfortunate family feuding has taken center stage. And I can only imagine where little uh kevin jr's head may be where they where all of their heads may be okay um but when you watch this video i i you feel free to leave your comments on either the jasmine brand obviously or also here so that i can sort of get a gauge on how you guys are feeling about this um the reason why we do this channel is is just to have a community space where we can talk about these shows, figure out, usually it's it's entertaining and entertainment talk, but there are times when something so serious happens, I do wanna know what you guys think. And I also want to at least make sure that I'm handling the situation with the with the grace that I, I know is needed, but also doing my job, but also um, doing, this story the justice that i feel like it deserves and um shout out to all of the creators out there who i have seen touch on this and touch on it in a way that offers as much grace as possible so um be sure to check out i know that you know sherelle did the interview with kevin senior be sure to check that out um, I also think that Kempire did an excellent breakdown of that video as well. If you guys wanted, um, you know, just two different perspectives or a, a, at least a perspective that um, really dives deep into the nuances of the interview. Uh, shout out to both of them because they were both presented to me um, to 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 watch to get a broader idea. So I spent some time doing that this morning, which is why this video is a little bit late coming out. Um, anyway, so with that being said, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, leave us a comment, let us know your thoughts about this. And 
my prayer is that hopefully this can be resolved. I also was told that this video that has surfaced happened a few weeks ago. So I'm not necessarily sure. I don't know who released it. So I'm, I'm just, that's also what I'm curious about. Who obtained it and who released it? Because it's clearly what appears to be ring footage. So anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. With that being said, I will catch you all in the next video.